Full reactions are available on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of Regular Show Season 7, Episode 17, Win That Prize! And press planet when I press play when the timer reaches zero. Presumably a game show type experience in the making coming up here. In the interviews, do they ever talk about the inspiration for that noise and the, the way they do that title card at the start? Pops? That scene looks weirdly familiar, but I think I'm just being weird. Oh. To be fair, to be fair, you've gone to some of the less stellar game shows in terms of uh, how you treat the contestant. Muscle Man was on an okay one. It wouldn't have been funny if it didn't stretch as long as it did. Oh, okay, here's where it gets complicated. <laughs> I was about to say, could you write it down? <laughs> that first half was easy. Well, don't screw it up now! Okay, okay. <laughs> he got sidetracked for better reasons than that. What? <laughs> He's just rolling with it as a professional improv actor. <laughs> Dude, all I knew was that the water tower, Carter and Briggs Lane, keep going that way until the magic happens. So you're already way off track here. <laughs> it's a dog! What? Oh, yeah, I'm not really sure he was basing that on the uh, television quality there. <laughs> All right, <laughs> get discount Gordon Ramsay out of here. I thought they were going to make a joke about Gordon Ramsay having like just a hundred different reality shows. You know, when they were like, hey, we're going to call this one canceled. Like, yeah, he, he goes through a lot. Uh, you really tapped into the uh, true heart of the consumer base. <laughs> it's too imitatable. It's 
pretty good. That does. What happened to the blood? <laughs> yeah, he's a master. How'd he do half of that? <laughs> All right, a little rude, more than a little, actually. <laughs> All this in the space of a few hours. You stop it. Wow. You know, I, I, I firmly believe this is actually how Cartoon Network uh, approves and <laughs> green lights and, I guess, red lights shows. <laughs> I mean, assuming they're paying you, which I sure hope. You gotta be making more money as an executive for a major TV studio than you would be on a single as a single contestant on a game show. Well, that one was the, with the weird black and white there, but all right. I should be more surprised by the lightning, but. Oh. Oh, no, you're going to take his place. About five hours. <laughs> you need to you need to delegate responsibility a little better. These executives it's like one of the, the, the perks is being able to schedule your own time to a degree. By putting you in my place! <laughs> Just as he and he dies. <laughs> Another hour or so, you look like Maillard. So he, uh, wow, it really had an impact on the place. You know, I really didn't need a documentary inside the offices of Cartoon Network Studios, but it's been going well so far. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Literally. Oh, oh wow, and he, he he had this plan early, huh?
Well, maybe, maybe if you had a better working environment, you wouldn't have felt the need to escape. You could have had him for longer than a day, which is apparently your retention rate with what, you know, the whole dying thing. <laughs> nice. Nice. You got him. <laughs> this is actually really cool. It's dumb. It drove him mad! This is the strangest episode in a while. Just... character behaviors. It might... almost definitely be my favorite Pops-focused episode, though. I liked it a lot more than the one where he was surfing. This was... this was weird. Oh... There were probably a Grossman. I'm going to look him up on like the regular show wiki because I feel like he's got to be a reference to somebody or something like that. If he is, it's not listed on the wiki, so probably not. Okay. His design is just distinctive enough, I figured, you know, it was going to be like a co-director or something that they, they based the design on, something like that, but whatever. <laughs> this was a good one. Next time. 